Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Aerolite 3153ML. This is a great couples model. If you're looking for something where you have a good spot to be able to sit and entertain guests, comfortable setup for watching TV, and a ton of kitchen space, then this is one you definitely don't want to miss. Let's actually start off right over here on this slide. So what you'll see is your TV front and center, and folks, that is directly across from the theater seating. I know you can't see it right now, but we'll see as we make our way around there. And it's a perfect shot. So you have a straight angle. You don't have to turn your head. Right down below that, you have your Jensen Multimedia Center, which is top name brand electronics in RVs, as well as the sound bar here. Uh, the great thing about this, folks, it does have an HDMI port on there. It's also a DVD player, and it's Bluetooth capable. It's actually a smart player, too. It's app ready. So this thing basically can do it all. It's a great multimedia center. You also have some storage both underneath as well as storage right up top. And that is pretty decent storage. It does go back a pretty good ways, which isn't super common on your entertainment centers. Then taking a, uh, a step forward here, we get, or step back rather, we get into the kitchen itself and they have done a beautiful job. You have gorgeous solid surface countertops. You can see this, you know, it kind of has a little bit of brown and some silver notes in there. I absolutely love it. And what happens when you have a solid surface countertop is it allows for an undermount sink, in which case you can get a sink top cover. That way all this is good usable space. The sink top cover can be used as a cutting board. I just recommend only using one side. That way, you know, you only have knife marks on one side. But when we take that off, you can see the double bowl undermount stainless steel sink. Very modern sink. You'll see it has kind of hard corners rather than the soft rounded ones and i personally like that because it allows you to put like glasses like right here in the corner it's uh basically allows you to use the whole bowl you also have the high rise pull out faucet there so that way the you know being up high makes it easier to wash and rinse dishes and plus having it pull out you know if you need to fill up like a pitcher or something on the side you can do that just makes dishes a lot easier too if we take a look at the storage underneath the island here You'll see that you have a one drawer right here, a single drawer, and then over here you have a bank of three. So plenty of drawers here for your uh, flatware, some of your other utensils like your uh, spatulas, knives, things like that. A little bit of storage right here, not a ton, you know, but probably you can fit a little, uh, some cleaning chemicals in there. Right over to the side is a perfect spot for your trash can. They left plenty of room there for you. And then here you have a divider. So if you want to put some food items in there, you can do that. Or maybe some pots and pans. If I think there's a better spot for those, I'll show you in just a minute. You'll also see that you have electrical outlets right up on the front there. You have two of those. So if you need to plug in um, you know, a blender or a toaster or electric griddle or whatever else, you have the capability to do that. If we take a quick look at the ceiling here, I do want to show you that you have the skylight and it, it is pretty close to the kitchen island here, which lets in a lot of natural light, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also have your ducted AC, LED lights, and then you have a vent over here as well. So if you want to open that up to get some smells out of the kitchen, you can do that. Then if we go back over into this other part of the kitchen here, you'll see that you do have some prep space here, as well as a recessed cooktop with a glass cover, so you can utilize this as prep space, and you have more over here. So again, great usable kitchen space here in this Aerolite. You'll see you have an electrical outlet right there as well, so if you have a coffee maker, that's probably the perfect corner for it there. Window to let in light, and then you have this gorgeous backsplash right here with the LED light, so that lights up, gives it a really cool look. This does fold up and back just like so. And then that will reveal your three burner cooktop here, your front one being high output. Underneath that is an oven in case you wanna do some baking. So I had mentioned a good spot for pots and pans. Folks, take a look at this. We open this up, you have huge storage right in there. It's all nice and open, which allows you to put some of your you know, larger pots and pans and stuff in there. So you know, if you have a big stock pot or something, chances are it'll probably still fit in there. So I, I like that they uh, have included that here in the kitchen. You have a pull-out drawer underneath the oven. Again, quite usable as far as the size. And then you have three large drawers running all down the side here. So as I mentioned, folks, you just have storage everywhere here in this kitchen. If we take a look up top here. Uh, you do have an LED light there as well. There we go, brighten that up a little. Uh, if we take a look up top though, you have a microwave right there. 
little storage compartment right above the hood and then you have the hood itself uh, stainless of course with both the light and the fan there on the back wall here we'll open this up you see storage running the whole length there so again you know plenty of storage in here you have the uh, frosted glass which helps give it a nicer look helps break the wood look up a little bit then take a look at this folks you have not one but two Dometic fridge freezers you have the stainless panels on there. Both of these run off propane, electric, and have automatic switchover. But that is absolutely awesome for cold storage. And lastly, just in case you didn't have quite enough storage yet, we'll open this up and you can see right there you have a large additional pantry. So as I mentioned, folks, if you're looking for something that has a lot of kitchen space, you know, you want that center island, you want a lot of storage, this one definitely has it. Then you move into kind of like the main living area. So we have our dinette right here. Uh, you do have the four chairs. The table has a leaf on there if you need a little extra space. And the cushions do lift up on the seats. That way you have some storage underneath the cushions themselves. Windows all the way around the slide. I like the fact that they didn't put storage up top here because you obviously have enough throughout the rest of the camper. You know, they made the windows a little bit bigger to let in more natural light. I think that was a good choice. LED light right up top here, another one up above your theater seating. Speaking of theater seating, there it is. Super comfortable, and as I mentioned, folks, this is straight across from the TV, right where you want it, the best seat in the house. They are recliners. You have, like, your little uh, parachute-style cord. You pull that, that pops up. Then you can lean back. You know you want to lean back, take a nap. You can do that. You also have some cup holders right there for any beverages, and you have a spot to put your TV remote. So... Definitely a great seat. The other thing I like about this is if you look right across the way, you can have excellent conversation with someone who is sitting on the sofa. So, you know, it gives you a couple different places to sit. Again, everyone can talk right here, which is cool. Uh, this sofa is also a trifold. So this also does fold out into a bed, which is really neat. So if you have guests that want to stay the night, not that you have to let them know, but if you do want them to stay, this can fold out and you can sleep two adults here. Another window right there, you'll see you have two LED lights up top and then some additional storage going all the way across the top there. Last thing I want to hit on in this main living area is right over here. This is pretty neat too. As soon as you walk in, look at this folks, right up top you have a, a spot to hang up your jackets. The thing I like about this, not only do they give you the hooks, but it's contained. You can close this so you don't have to see the jackets. It's a lot prettier. And you have a little bit of storage right underneath there for your shoes. When you come around the corner here, obviously this is your entry door. You have another window here to let in some natural light. Thermostat right here. This does control both your AC as well as your heat. And then you have the in-command system. This is a great system. Uh, the thing I like about this, it takes a big ugly control panel, makes it a lot simpler. Everything in here is color-coded for all of your wires, so it's a lot easier to troubleshoot. All touchscreen. You can see you control your awning here, your slides, all of your lights, your water heater, your pump, everything from this panel. Uh, your tank monitoring panel is on here as well. So if you want to, you know, uh, take a look at your tanks, you can do that. But again, just a great system. It's super simple to use, and I'm glad they have it in here. The bathroom has two entrances and exits, one right here into the master bedroom, the other one into the main living area. Right in between those are your foot flush lever toilet. You'll see it is a porcelain bowl, so it's easy to clean. And then if I sit here, you can see I have plenty of shoulder room and obviously a ton of leg room there too. Right up above me is a robe hook, so good spot to hang your towel. Unless you rock a robe, you can certainly hang a robe there too. Right up above is your vent fan. Uh, if we take a look across the way, this is pretty cool right here. So this is part of the wardrobe slide out in the bedroom, but the door for the bedroom actually closes off, uh, leaving this space in the bathroom. So the thing I like about this is it kind of gives you a dedicated linen closet for the bathroom, put all your towels and everything in here. You have a mirror on the door, and then you have a drawer underneath as well. So uh, all in all, a very usable uh, storage space. Right over here is your shower, Neo Angle shower. You'll see it is a roller doors. I like these because when you open them up, all the water goes down to the, uh, along the door into the shower pan. Unlike a swing door where it tends to drip on the floor or a shower curtain, you know, the water pretty much gets everywhere. So when we step in here, as you will notice, I have plenty of headroom, folks. I'm six foot tall, plenty of room, especially with this skylight. You know, even if you're six four, six five, you can still stand in here, which is pretty nice. Uh, you have the hand wand there to make showering a little bit easier. A couple of shelves there too. 
Right outside of that is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind it. You have your uh, sink right there, electrical outlet, GFCI plug, and you have storage underneath. The master bedroom features a residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. That's a big deal. If you're a taller person, you're sick of your feet hanging off at night when you go to bed in your camper, you don't have to worry about it in here, folks, because it is the full 80 inches. Also, there is storage underneath. You can lift it up just like so. Of course, we have the uh, TV box in there currently, but as you will notice, there is still uh, pretty good storage in there for some larger items. On both sides of the bed, you have more storage. Shelf up top there, as well as a hanging rod going across to hang your clothes, and you have a drawer underneath. You also have storage going across the top here, a couple LED lights. Up on the ceiling, uh, you will notice this right here, this is a vent, so you can open a window up and be able to have some airflow. More importantly though, folks, this is pre-wired and braced for a second AC. So if you want another AC, you can have one installed there. The 50 amp is already installed on the camper too. If you want TV, here is all your connections for that. You can just mount it on the wall here. And if you take a look behind me, you have more wardrobe. So just in case the two on the side of the bed aren't enough, you have this extra hanging space right here. You also have a couple of drawers. And down on the sides of the bed, you have electrical outlets and USB ports. So if you need to plug anything in at night, whether it's a phone or a CPAP machine, you can do it. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Aerolite 3153ML. Starting off right up front, you have a power tongue jack. This makes it pretty simple to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. And then you also have a light on there for extra visibility at night. Behind that is your two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. Easy to get in there, just undo the two thumb screws, lift up the door and that gives you access to those tanks. We take a look behind, you will see there's a battery disconnect on this coach, which is great. So that way when you're done camping, you can just turn that off and it will kill all power to the coach. You also have rails there for your battery. And coming up the front here, you have this kind of diamond etched plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Three year structural warranty on the Aerolite. That is the best in the industry. And you will also see you have LED lights on here, which really give it a nice look at night. Kind of has the uh, three quarter cap on here, if you will. It doesn't roll over the edge, but it still comes out a little bit, gives it a very nice look to it, much better, uh, at, much better aesthetically. Right here on the side is solar prep. If you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in, and you are good to go. The pass through here, you'll see it has a covered hinge on there so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. It also has a slam latch and magnetic, so you can put it up just like so. If we take a look at the pass through, you'll see how clean and finished it is. Uh, it also has the same size door on the other side, which is fantastic. You'll see the in command system right here. That is the brains of the unit. Again, everything is color coded. So if ever you need to troubleshoot anything, it makes it a million times easier. Maybe not a million, but it is much, much easier. You also have a couple light switches in here. One controls the lights on the front cap. Uh, the other switch will light up the LED light in the pass through. There's a strip that goes all the way across, lighting up the entire thing. Taking a look right down here, this is a huge feature right here, folks. It's probably one of my favorite features that came out uh, in 2017, and that is the ground control leveling system for travel trailers. This is an auto level system. So if you've seen some of my videos before, you probably you know, have heard me say, don't try to level with stabilizing jacks. This, these aren't stabilizing jacks, this is true auto level. So you can touch a button, this travel trailer will level itself out just like a lot of fifth wheels or motorhomes. So I'll show you the control for that a little bit later, uh, but that is probably one of my favorite features that have come out recently on travel trailers. You'll see that there's a power awning here, touch a button to have that roll out, same thing to go right back in, and you have an LED light strip underneath so you have some light at night. You don't have any vents here either, so all the space underneath the awning is good camping space. You have three foldable steps to get into the Aerolite here. They have the aluminum treads on there, so that way they won't rust on you. You also have the grip strips on there for some extra traction. And you have the foldable grab handle right here too, uh, so that way you have good control when entering the RV. If you want an outside TV, these are your hookups. You have a cable outlet there, as well as an electrical outlet. Now obviously, even if you don't want to hook up a TV, you can plug anything into the electrical outlet. 
Uh, also, this one does have the thermal package. I didn't talk about that when we were underneath, but it does have an enclosed and uh, heated underbelly there. So that way, not only does it help keep out rodents in the off season and road grime, but it'll also help in the colder seasons. Right here on the back of the door side of the camper is your outside shower that does have both hot and cold water access. This is pretty cool because generally your outside shower is on the back of the camper or more often than not on the off door side. So I do like having it here on the door side just because it's a little bit easier to access. Coming around to the back, you have your bumper, square tubular bumper with the end caps. You can take those caps off. It gives you a good spot to store your sewer hose, your two refrigerator vents, because again, this one does have the two fridges. Fresh water inlet. If you're planning on doing some boondocking, you need to fill your fresh water tank. That is where you will fill it at. 50 amp detachable power cord plugs right in there. Spare tire mounted to the bumper. This is cool because it's probably the easiest place to get to it. And you have the cover on here, which will help keep it in better shape. And if you look up at the top center there, you will see that this one has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, it is easier to have it installed. Right in the back here behind the rear jack is one of your two terminations. This one is for a gray tank. Up front will be your second gray tank as well as your black. And if you take a look at the wheels here, you will see that they are beautiful aluminum alloy wheels. That way, again, they won't rust. They'll stay looking beautiful. And for whatever it's worth to you, they are also nitrogen-filled tires. Right here on the off-door side are the rest of your hookups. You have a light in case you're hooking up at night, cable inlet, spray port, so this is water access, city water inlet here, and then the black tank flush right underneath that. This is your main termination right here. As I mentioned, that one does have both your black and gray tanks located there. And if you come right up here to the side, take a look at this, folks. This is that auto level I had mentioned. So literally one touch of a button, it'll do everything for you. If you need to do anything else, you can see all of it right there are your instructions in case you forget how to operate it. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Aerolite 3153ML. If you love this coach and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.